Hi everyone, welcome to An Academy Live Gate, and this is Trinath Reddy. I have been uh, teaching analog electronic circuits for the last uh, 18 years. Right earlier, I was with uh, Medizi. Now I am with uh, An Academy for you all guys. And here, before uh, giving the description about uh, my course for the upcoming GET exam. I would like to solve one problem on op-amps uh, op frequency response. Uh, let us have a look at that question. Yes, this is a question asked in previous gate papers of uh, electronics branch. Uh, the amplifier circuit shown in the figure is implemented using a compensated operational amplifier and has an open loop gain of 10 power 5 and the open loop cutoff frequency of 8 hertz the voltage gain of the amplifier at 15 kilohertz is that's it an op amp with open loop configuration gain and cutoff frequency are mentioned they are asking to find its gain at a frequency of 15 kilohertz this is the question asked how to solve this question okay so first of all let us find its closed loop gain how to find the closed loop gain? See this. The circuit given is like this. Generally, we have a practice of taking this as RF and this is R1 its value 1 kilo ohm 79 kilo ohm and as AOL is or AO open loop gain is given as 10 power 5 it is extremely large we can take an approximation of a virtual shot so due to virtual shot this voltage is VI and if I take this node equation I can write the closed loop gain or the gain with the feedback it is given by 1 plus RF by R1 I can take it that is 1 plus 79 K by 1 K it is equal to 80 otherwise just uh, you can use uh, the feedback concepts according to that also you can take the closed loop gain is equal to open loop gain by 1 plus open loop gain into beta a by 1 plus a beta instead of a I wrote a where beta is equal to where <coughs> beta is equal to r1 by r1 plus rf that is 1 kilo ohm by 1k plus 79k which is equal to 1 by 80 so if you substitute that you can see is equal to 10 power 5 by 1 plus 10 power 5 by 80 its value is found to be 80 only but alternative way or i can write it it's the easiest way to write it or you can see this way also okay so by applying feedback the gain is decreasing by a desensitivity factor 1 plus a beta it is a desensitivity I can take it so gain is decreasing by desensitivity times means the bandwidth has to increase by desensitivity times or what is the bandwidth of a closed loop system bandwidth of closed loop system means it is just nothing but bandwidth with the feedback it is given by without feedback into 1 plus AO into beta we can write it so without feedback it is given as 8 into 1 plus 10 power 5 by 80 you can take it 
and one is neglected compared to this and it is 10 power 5 by 80 means 10 power 4 you will be getting or 10 kilohertz we can see okay how much amount the gain is decreasing the same amount that the bandwidth will increase the bandwidth with the feedback is given by that one or even you can use gain bandwidth product means if you take the op-amp with the open loop configuration the frequency response is given by this one here open loop gain is equal to 10 power 5 and open loop bandwidth is equal to 8 hits then if you apply feedback then the new gain is 80 so what is the new cutoff frequency means you can use this formula gain bandwidth product so gain bandwidth product means what you write here gain into bandwidth it is equal to constant and what is that constant value means it is just nothing but the open loop gain into open loop cutoff frequency and here the closed loop gain is a suffix f and it is fc dash now what is our fc dash AO is 10 power 5 into fc is equal to 8 by gain with feedback is 80 so in that way also you can see your answer is 10 kilohertz so we have got the value of fc dash okay we have got the closed loop systems gain as 80 and cutoff frequency as 10 kilohertz see there are a number of ways to solve these questions it's very very simple thing only just for your understanding sake i am explaining two methods simultaneously any one method you can take further if you take the frequency response of closed loop system right if you take frequency response of closed loop system if you take it so it is something like this always at higher frequencies behaves like a low pass filter and that gain with feedback it is found to be 80 and its cutoff frequency is also mentioned as fc dash is equal to 10 kilohertz now they are asking us to find the gain corresponding to a frequency of what is the gain corresponding to a frequency of 10 kilohertz sorry 15 kilohertz Fifteen kilohertz. What is the gain? This is the question. So for that, the gain is given by now closed loop systems gain. It is given by a f by square root of one plus f by f c dash whole square. You can see now the value of a f. It is found to be eighty by square root of 1 plus what is f 15 kilohertz by fc dash it is 10 kilohertz whole square if you solve it you will get it around 44.37 that is your answer okay this is how we can do this problem of course i did this problem in two methods simultaneously you can adopt any one you wish you can make use of the concept of feedback or you can use make use of op amps uh, closed loop gain uh, that is virtual shot and gain bandwidth product simultaneously right any thing you can use to find the values of af and fc dash once you get af and af and fc dash the closed loop systems frequency response is given by this one it's a low pass filter so low pass filter gain equation is given by this in which uh, if you substitute f is equal to 15 kilohertz 
you can see the answer to be around 44.37 this is how we can solve the question okay then coming to the unacademy plus benefits what are the benefits you have means unlimited access yes once you take the subscription you can watch the videos of topmost faculty members or educators for more and more number of times it is not like a offline course in offline course uh, due to some health issue or due to some exams or due to some work in the office if you miss the class you may not get that much confidence once you study the things on your own or if you read the same thing with the help of your friends but here you need not bother if you miss the class okay you can again have a, a chance to uh, watch it for a number of times so while watching it again and again you will get a lot of confidence and there is no scope for forgetting the concept also okay that is the advantage you have with uh, unlimited access and the structured life courses uh, sometimes in offline courses uh, the uh, sometimes they may take advanced subject first later the prerequisite may be done so that you may not get the 100 percent confidence but here all the videos are available one by one subjects will be going on and you can start the basic level subject once you understand it next you can go to the next subject and next you can go to the third subject which makes use of the concepts of the previous two subjects like that you can have you can have a structured course right and top educators yes here the educators are having vast experience and well qualified so that uh, as we people have been interacting with the thousands of students before start of any section uh, we already keep all the doubts a student can get in mind and we proceed so that as you are attending the section you feel like some doubt you are able to get that will be automatically discussed so that, that that's the advantage you have with the top educators of an academy okay next thing coming to my upcoming course the that is for coming uh, get examination right i'm starting a course on analog electronic circuits which is divided into four modules uh, like uh, diode applications bjt fet and operational amplifiers here in diode application in every topic at the end of every topic i will be taking care of tough questions asked in the previous papers of electronics engineering electrical engineering and instrumentation engineering as my subject is common for three branches so that that is a strategy and right it is not like completion of the chapter i will be doing the problems at the end of every concept whatever we have understood we will check whether we are able to solve the questions with the things we have understood or not this is the idea okay and finally to attend my sessions right uh, stay tuned with the uh, anacademy and for availing 10 percent discount you can use my referral code trk10 i wish you all the best see you soon on anacademy live thank you